and I'm the early years worker and welcome to our first under five Sunday video. Today we're going to learn about um, the first people that God ever made in the whole world and as you might have already noticed we're going to make some play-doh so we're going to do that first and then i'm going to tell you the story so we're going to i've made some green and some um, brown and skin color and now i'm going to make some red and you'll find out what all the colors are for in a little bit so there's a link in the description box with more specific instructions on how to make play-doh but i'm going to quickly show you now um, so if you want to make this at home you can but also if you have play-doh already at home then you can just use that to do what we're going to do so uh, mums and dads this is for you so you want two parts flour and one part salt it's the first thing that's going in your bowl um i'm not measuring it out i'm just gonna oops, flour everywhere uh, i'm just gonna Yes, because it's more fun. So it's a good activity to do, especially as it's getting colder. It's a great activity to do in the house, maybe on the weekend. The next thing that's going to go in is some oil. This just makes it a little bit softer um, and easier to play with. It doesn't all crumble. So this is about two tablespoons of oil, um, but just a bit of oil. There's, there's no kind of specific measurements, really. So we'll pop that in. And then you don't have to have food colouring, but it always makes it look more colourful, obviously. Uh, so I've got some red um, food colouring because I'm going to use um, this Play-Doh to make some apples. Um, so I'm just going to pop, this is gel food colouring, um, but you can use liquid food colouring to just don't add as much water. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. This is warm water from the tap. Um, it just makes it a bit easier to mix. And then I'm going to stir it together. So I've added a little bit of water to start with. I'm going to stir it together because um, you can't really take the water out once it's in. So if it is, if you have put too much water in, you can always add a little bit more flour. But if you add the water slowly, like I'm doing, then you shouldn't have any problems. So add a little bit more in. That made a funny noise, didn't it? And then it will start to make a dough like these look and once you can squish it in your hands that is a dough whoops dropped a bit of green in the red quick ah, let's rescue it there we go whoops <laughs> so give this a stir i think add a tiny bit more water and then i'm gonna start doing the fun bit which is squishing it with my hands so let's mix this water in. There we go. There we go. It'll start to go into a little ball as you're stirring it. And now, use the fun bit. So take, take it all off the spoon. And I'm going to get my hands in. And it should be soft, but it should come together to form a dough. And um, you can keep this in a bag, in like a, a resealable bag, and use it quite a few times before it goes a bit sticky and um, not usable anymore. So we have our Play-Doh. Now that was quite a quick demonstration. If you've never made Play-Doh before, um, head over to the link that I've put in the box um, for a crazy video that me and Naomi did um, with how to make Play-Doh. It was our first Wacky Wednesday video. Now this is just a little bit wet, so I'm going to put a tiny bit of flour on the table and just squish it in my hands. So I am sure that most of you will have played with Play-Doh before. So I'm going to ask you to make some basic shapes, um, and we're going to, I'm going to, you're going to help me tell the story. So the first thing that we're going to make is a person. So we're going to make a man, and this man in the Bible was called Adam. And you probably know the story of creation, where God created the whole world. He created the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky, all the trees, all the animals. He created everything. And the last thing he created was 
a man and a woman. So the man was called Adam and we're going to make a man. So I'm going to help you, I'm going to show you how to make a man. So I hope you can all make a sausage shape. If you don't know how to, just get a piece of play-doh and roll it in your hands like this and make a sausage shape like that. There we go, we've got one arm. And now you want to make one, another arm that looks kind of similar. So try and get the same size piece and squish it a bit and then roll it into another sausage. So we've got two arms. They're not really the same size, but never mind. <laughs> then we want two slightly bigger sausage shapes for the legs. And we want to make these a bit longer too. There we go, like that. One leg. Another one. longer there we go two legs so we've got two arms and two legs and then we just need what's left what have I forgotten well I've forgotten two things I think we need a head don't we I think most people need a head so we'll give Adam a head there we go a head and oh he looks a bit funny I don't know whether you can see him but he looks a bit funny because he's missing his body so let's make a body shape. Oh, the head, I just made a ball, by the way. So the body shape is going to be the biggest piece of Play-Doh. And you just want to make it into a big sausage shape like this. And then squish down the top and put it in the middle. And then we want to join it all together. So first, I think I'm going to put the head on Adam, Adam's body. There we go, look. And I'm not sure if Adam's going to stand up. I'm going to try and stick him together with a little bit of water, but I don't know if it's going to work, but we will see. There we go, he got his head on. So I'm just dipping my finger in some water and sticking his arms and his legs on now. Got one arm, his arms are quite long. <laughs> one arm. Two arms. And his legs. His legs are quite long too. There we go, there's my Adam. His legs might fall off in a second. So and now I'm going to make um, another um, person, but that's going to be a lady. So I'm gonna make that and come back. This is exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna speed this up really fast and make the lady. at the moment so I'm going to give them a little bit of hair because I think that might oh I think Eve's gonna fall over oh she's having a little sleep <laughs> so I think that will make them look a bit more like actual people <laughs> there we go there's Adam's hair oh, let's sit Eve back up Eve it's not time for sleeping now <laughs> let's give her a bit more water on her leg Adam's hair's falling off. Oh dear me. <laughs> there we go. I must give Eve some longer hair, shall we? I think Eve has beautiful long hair. Let's see if I can do it without it falling off or her head falling off. Ah, Eve's not playing ball, is she? Come on, Eve. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. There we go, we've got Adam and Eve. I know they don't have faces, um, but let's just pretend that they do. <laughs> um, so, God made Adam and he asked Adam to look after his beautiful world. And then God thought, oh, I think Adam might be a bit lonely on his own. So he made Eve and made them a beautiful garden and I'm going to make a big tree so ugh, because lots of beautiful gardens have big trees don't they so I'm going to make the top of the tree and this might be a bit ambitious so I'm going to use a little stick oh that's a funny noise 
Let me use a little stick and see if I can get the tree to stand up. Oh, there we go. Quite heavy. I don't know if it's going to stay there. But, ah! Okay, the tree's going to sit down. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to make some fruit to go on the tree. So God gave Adam and Eve a beautiful garden and they could live in the garden and look after God's world. Oh, Eve's going to sleep again. <laughs> there we go. Eve, stay still, please. There we go. So I would love to see any pictures that you make um, of your Play-Doh. Um, or if you want to draw um, a picture of Adam and Eve or the garden, I'd love to see anything that you make. So please, parents, send it to either me or to um, Facebook, the Facebook page or Instagram page or email it over to kids at citychurchswansea.org because um, we love seeing all your creations. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed our first week. Um, I'm just going to pray before we end. Um, and yeah, so Father God, I thank you that you created um, all of the world and you created me and, um, and everyone. And I pray that you help us this week to remember that we are made by you and we are beautiful and we are loved by you and um, that you want what's best for us. In Jesus name, Amen. Right, um, we'll see you next week. Bye!